In the holographic principle, the information of a three-dimensional image is encoded on a two-dimensional surface. In this theory, this is achieved by a continuous process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. An interior of a sphere is three-dimensional and therefore it will naturally form the three dimensions of our everyday life with the surface of the sphere forming a dynamic two-dimensional surface for the holographic principle. In such a theory the information for the three dimensions of our everyday life is encoded on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere in the form of positive and negative charge. The inner concave surface represents negative charge and the outer convex surface represents positive charge. Photon energy forms a movement of positive and negative charge and in this theory the future is unfolding photon by photon with each photon electron coupling or dipole moment. This is a universal process with charge being an innate part of all matter. Whatever we do in everyday life there is always the movement of charge as a process of energy exchange. At high temperatures in the form of plasma charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. This can be seen in a solar eclipse when magnetic field lines can be seen in the Sun's outer corona. This forms one of the most prominent parts of this process with photon energy cascading down from the Sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the diversity and complexity of cell life. It is because this theory uses the holographic principle that we only need three dimensions and one variable in the form of the continuum of time. The extra dimensions of string theory are just future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous creation. In such a theory it is logical that when we have a solar eclipse the holographic principle relative to the Sun's light is broken forming these multiple images of the eclipse. They really highlight the individuality of light photon energy with each group of photons being able to form a complete image of the Sun. Also the quality of how the holographic principle works is affected when there is a solar eclipse. This can be seen in the form of shadow bands that are thin wavy lines of alternating light and dark that can be seen moving in parallel on plain colored surfaces immediately before and after a total solar eclipse. They are formed by the thin slit-like solar crescent illuminating the Earth's atmosphere moments before and after the eclipse totality. Apart from the movement of the shadow bands that is caused by atmospheric winds they are very similar to scan lines that are visible in poor quality holograms. This video clip of a man turning his TV into a 3D hologram is a good example with parallel lines running across the images of the hologram. It is very interesting that the image within the hologram is formed by the dotted pattern rather than the wavy line pattern. This can be seen in this close-up photograph of a hologram's surface with the dots and waves being visible. In this theory we would say that within the universe the image is formed by photons rather than waves with each photon only occurring once forming an uncertain future. 
the spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a process of energy exchange that we see and feel as a period of time with a future relative to the atoms of the periodic table in such a theory the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual thanks for watching please subscribe and share it will help the promotion of this theory